Hi guys, this week's email slash video starts out with a story. So these are the focus tops. Okay, I don't know whether you can see that. Okay, these are on the website right now and available. But I thought I would tell you why we designed the focus top. So this is not a new design. This is from 2015. Uh, so, we're going to start way back, back when I was in high school in my hometown of Seashell, BC. Uh, here there was a an after-school after program run completely by volunteer teachers called Cool School. It was a program where kids could go to learn the machine shop and learn more shop skills and use the sh school's shop equipment for fun, interesting projects. Uh, nothing to do with being in high school. It was designed to get kids interested and excited about a trade. And this is where I started to develop my love of machining. Years later, I moved back to my hometown in Seashelt. I had become a machinist and in 2011 I started focus machining and design. I also started volunteering as a teacher at school school where we were trying to encourage the next generation of kids to get interested in the trade. At that point we had just gotten a CNC lathe and were really excited about it. Really excited. So we decided to invite the kids from Cool School out to the shop for a demo. We wanted to machine something that they could watch from start to finish. So we came up with the idea of a small spinning top. That would be that guy. And everyone got to take home one home with them. Uh, the focus top was a hit and with them and we hope that you will enjoy the new and improved version. So these are brass. You have a one inch version and an inch and a quarter version. The inch and a quarter version obviously spins quite a bit longer than the one inch version. If you buy both you get to stand with it. Here, I uh, let's see if I can get one to spin up in the air. Hide behind it. Maybe it'll focus. Okay, so these are these are on the website now. Uh, if you're watching this through the email, uh, there will be a link below the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description. So that is what's on the website right now. Uh, there's also some more PC1 pens. Let me see if I have one on my desk. I forgot to grab one, so there's, this is just a shell, but uh, there's a few more of these, I got a few more made. Okay, I'm just looking over at my notes here. Uh, I am cleaning up my office area, which is also the assembly area and everything. Here, let me flip the camera around. This one. So, oh, auto focus. There we go. So, it's actually, believe it or not, a lot better than it was up here. I just put these cabinets in, so they are going to organize me immensely. So, why am I showing you that? Uh, that is to show you that I will be cleaning up. I'm going to be cleaning off all my shelves. I'm going to find everything that had that I've just hasn't gone up for sale. And we're gonna have a garage sale. It's going to be low prices, everything as is, whatever I find. Whatever doesn't sell, 
goes in the scrap bin. So this is a, it sells or it's garbage. So get in on, get in on that. Uh, hopefully that will be next weekend. So it is the 13th today. So that would be the 20th, somewhere around there. Uh, speaking of the 20th, there's a, well, 21st. Uh, I got talked into doing a micro XL spinner. So uh, if you're familiar with the micro, uh, very popular, but out of production permanently. But I got talked into a big version and the one that went over the most was the tungsten. Full tungsten. So it'll be full tungsten. Heavy, 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 heavy. But really cool. It'll probably end up being one of the bigger tungsten spinners out there. So there's a pre-sale running until June 21st. Uh, I gotta have 20 people uh, sign up for it. Uh, otherwise uh, it won't happen and I'll refund everyone their money. And yeah, it's on the website. Go have a look. Sign up. Uh, okay. Uh, if you are on the knife list, if you signed up for a knife, you got a private update on uh, progress of the steelhead knife. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a brief rundown here. I made a change to the scales. There, that's a copper one. Uh, we put a border. I put a border around it so it didn't. Uh, so it blended into the knife a little bit better. There's some other changes, but. Uh, I've already told everyone who's signed up, so uh, that's that. You can go sign up for one on the website. Again, there's a form to sign up. Next, next, next. Uh, divide twos spinners in copper. Uh, divide two in copper. We are going into production on Monday on those, so they will be coming very, very soon in wide variety of copper finishes and just to finish it all off uh, I got a request for a custom finish on a flashlight one of my F1s uh, the guy said oh I like your I like your uh, pond scum finish so I said, oh, okay I said, just run with it do something cool here's my Instagram uh, this is the kind of stuff I like, so I went through there, got inspired, and I have a new take on the Pond Scum finish that I can't wait to show you. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Hopefully it works. You never know. <laughs> and that's everything. I don't have anything else to say except thanks for being great customers. And friends lots of you have become friends talking over the over Facebook uh, have a great day thanks for watching stay safe I will talk to you again hopefully next week